Good day. Um, what we're going to do right now is to start the wireframing application. We will create a blank application and then we will create uh, that application using P4X so that it's an application and we will use the abstract designer. So what we need to do is uh, on the download of Citaso 7 wireframes, you start the application. This will start the pocket base uh, server application. And then uh, you just need to wait to make sure that it's, it is started and it is ready. So what we're going to do is to use the custom view guide that is generated by the wireframing application to make sure that we create an application uh, as a guide. So our database has been loaded now and it's blank. Okay, let's just refresh it. There's nothing. Let's just make sure that we have nothing. We start from scratch. Okay, in the previous video, we spoke about the app wizard. So what we're going to do now is to start from a blank template so that I can show you how to reproduce this using P4J and uh, custom views. And then this is our blank application. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to create on main content, which is click on main content, which is the root uh, component in our page. And then I'm going to click on custom views. Okay. Main content needs to activate that. And I'm going to click on custom views, which generates the custom view document. which is going to guide us in creating our application with P4J. Okay. We have uh, configured uh, Citaso Ionic in our P4J environment, so I will not take you through the process of that. If you have Citaso Ionic, then uh, you can continue with this process now need to create a B4J project. So we're going to start B4J. Now over there, we start B4J. Okay, let me just wrap this so that we see all the instructions. Computer is a little bit slow this morning. Um, okay, before J has been activated, and then the instructions are saying that we need to go to click file, new, and then Citaso I make blank AT. So in before J, go to file, new, and then Citaso I make blank AT. This is a blank template that has been created and is available for you. And then the next thing that we need to do, we need to type in a project name and click OK. So let's type in a project name. Citaso Ionic 7 blank project. Let's just give it a project name. We can give it another project name that you want. And then we click OK. And this is a blank project that has been created for us by the system. If you click on files, you can see the layouts that are there. Let's open this layout. It has main content, main menu, and main page. Yeah. Okay, let's go to our instructions. This project has two layouts, the index layout and the blank layout. The index layout has main content, main page, main menu, 
if these are reference instructions below, you update them, you know. Okay, what I need us to do is to basically start from scratch so that we see what we need to happen here. Uh, the main pages for your project is PG index where it is the start of your application and then we need to load a main layout here and then we need to add all the other pages that we need to add in our application and then the other pages that can be created in the application are based on this template here PG blank so we will use this template to start from the beginning our main entry point of application is PG index because it's called from the main module uh, PG index dot initialize. So we need this main module to be here and it's loading index layout. Now from our application, we have indicated that we have main content and inside main content we have a main page. So this is the blank layout that we're using and we want to recreate this. So from our application, what we're going to do is we start with the index layout. The index layout has a main content and main page. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete these things so that we see how to recreate this from scratch. So the main point of focus is main content. Mm -hmm. So in our application, I'm going to right click, click add view, click custom view, and then what we want to add here is content. And then we resize it to fit our working space. This is the same as the instructions that are here. You know? In the before GI did click the designer menu option, open designer. And then uh, custom view, these are just simple instructions in terms of how to, take, to add views. Now, step number one, change the flowing properties of the admin content. Yeah. So, let's do that. The name should be main content and the iron page should be false. So what we've done is to put an iron content here and then we need to change the name to the main content and we need to change iron page is false. See currently it is true here so we need to make it false so that we follow the instructions that are here. Iron page is false. Yeah. Now we save this of course and we know that this index layout is fine now the second thing that we need to do uh, is then right click add view a custom view then click iron page yeah. and then drag and drop the newly added component and place it inside the main content so we need to take iron page and put it inside the main content so we're going to do that when right i click and custom view we look for iron page and we must it must sit inside the main content so it is sitting inside the main content let's just drag it and resize it appropriately now change the following properties of the iron page main page component so the name should be main page we go to our layout we change the name to the main page and the parent D is main content we can exclude this for now because we've already dragged and dropped the main page inside the main content okay because it's already inside here so let's just leave that it's not necessarily compulsory for now then the next thing is the router name should be blank we go there we find the router name the router name should be blank and then the url path should be blank Has 
tabs needs to be true. As tabs needs to be true. So what we've done is to set the properties, the main page, the router name, the URL path, and then has tabs. Is true as by given instructions here. You know? Now click project at new model code model. Type in PG Home as a new model name. Okay, this is another instruction. So we have done with this layout now. Okay. Now it's saying click project at new model code model PG name. So we go here, we go click project add new model code model we give it a name of pg name pg home yeah. and then create a new layout and save it as home layout and then set these properties okay now because we already have a blank page here what you're going to do each and every time you're creating a new page, you need to copy the code from the blank page and paste it to the newly created page. You know, but now the name of this page is home. So it's saying create a new layout and save it as home layout. So the layout that is going to be loaded for the PG home is no longer blank layout but the home layout yeah. and then what we need to do is to create this layout we go to designer internal designer and then we save as home layout you know And then on this new layout, right click add view, then custom view, then click the iron tab. Yeah. So we need to add an iron tab here. Right click, custom view, iron tab. There it is. And then we take it and we put it here. And then we follow the instructions again. Change the following properties of this tab to be name is going to be home. The name of this tab is going to be home. And then the header page title is Citaso Ionic 7. The name of this header is Citaso Ionic 7. And then the tab is supposed to be home. Then the tab is supposed to be home. And then has header is true. Has header is true. Menu button auto hide is false. Menu button auto height is false, but it is not relevant for now. Content iron padding true. Content iron padding is true. And then content text welcome to Citaso Ionic 7. Content text. Content text is Welcome to Ionic 7. Then center content is true. Then center content is true. So what I've done now is to change the properties of this tab. We gave it a page title. Yeah. We didn't change anything there. We gave it a tab of home. We gave it a content of that and then content padding 
and then center content is true so we are finished with designing this particular page here we save it as home layout and in our page we're going to say home layout now what we need to do we need to generate uh, members you open the layout that is there you go to tools you say generate members home back dot click menu dot click so we just select on home and you say generate members so that is what it is i'm sorry about the background noise so um, we have generated members we say ignore here and then we remove that one because it does not have a reference anymore so we change these properties because it's no longer referring to blank and then we are done with this particular page the next thing that we need to do then is to add this page to the index uh, pg index because pg index is our menu is our app controller so to add this page to the index so that the application knows about it we need to go to the add pages subroutine and say pg home initialize uh, app so that it knows that it needs to uh, use the application so what pg home initialize basically is to call this subroutine here what it does is to add the layout that you created to the tabs app page viewer app page viewer in our application is the tabs id and then it assigns what is from the layout that is specified to these variables and then it age as the page you know and then let's try and run our application and see if it's going to produce what we see here okay so let's do that let's start our server i'm using um laragon as a development server so what i'm going to do now i've started it so it's running you know so i'm going to start this application because remember our home page is having a url path of uh, forward slash it's going to be the starting page of our application so we're done with this let's save and then we run our application and see if it's going to produce the needed result that we want from the layout that we created via the wireframing application there we go as you can see the application for our blank table is saying satasso ionic 7 welcome to satasso and if you go here let me make this to show as a device i'm going to click click the so satasso ionic 7 welcome to satasso ionic 7 there we go this is the wireframe this is generated from using the custom keys so what we basically did here was to translate our wireframe and follow the instructions after we downloaded the custom view guide and follow the instructions right here and then recreated the home layout and just follow the instructions in relation to how you create this by changing the properties that is here so what we have done now is to successfully translate a wireframe to a b4j application
by using custom views. So we'll be going and doing more uh, of the app wizard wireframes so that you can see how we need everything together in relation to this. But as we've indicated, you basically are not going to touch anything on this page as yet. And the PG index, the only thing that you, who you have done here is to update our index layout just to have the two um, the components that we, we wanted to create. And then we added the page in add pages so that the application knows about the page. Um, and then we created the home layout and then we put a tab there and then changed some of the properties that we needed to change to make it an application. And then we run the application and then it creates the necessary needed um, structure of our application. And opens our browser and shows the application. There it is exactly as we wanted. Now, um, for example, what I want to do now, I'm just going to close uh, this B4J so that the application does not run from B4J. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to Laragon there, and then I'm going to open the application directly from there. This is the name. Playing add. There it is. And if you go to Laracon, there it is. There it is the application. You see, this is just created now. There it is. These are the assets. These are the scripts. These are the styles. This is the index page. Let me double click it and see what's going to happen. Yeah. Okay, this is created with banana 737. And then some stars that are there. And then the loading of the stars. Most of the code that is here is sitting on the scripts. But basically, we have generated a blank application. We uh, transplant it to JavaScript and HTML all from p and our application is basically running well you know exactly just like what is in the wireframes that we created here so that is how you generate um, applications from wireframes using the abstract designer. Of course, when you're starting B4J, you're also able to do the similar exercise using code. Um, but we're going to go through the tabs example and recreate it also using uh, the abstract designer so that you see and the other examples. Thank you.